said to the lady, like, I'm gonna faint. Like, I, and I could smell the KFC. <laughs> that was two levels down. Outside of the store, like, down in the food court. Because it's an amazing experience to be able to be pregnant as a woman. And we are mighty. We are so strong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabby and you're obviously watching my first trimester recap video. So when I first found out I was pregnant, I watched so many of these videos. So I definitely wanted to do one for myself and I wrote down every symptom that I felt in my first trimester. If you're also pregnant here, congratulations. Make sure to leave a little comment down below how far along you are and how you're feeling because I would love to find out. I'm so sorry that this video is a little bit late. I'm about 26 weeks pregnant, so I'm way past the end of my first trimester, but we made it, we're here. <laughs> we're finally doing the video. I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the symptoms that I felt, some kind of like emotions that I was kind of feeling. Cause I wrote a little bit about that. I'll pop in some photos. Also some apps that I was using um, and that I'm still using and we'll just get straight into it. It was very early when I found out. I did the test on the Wednesday and my period wasn't due till the Saturday, whatever that number is I was through in a bit weeks and I just like had this feeling I could go into the whole story about how I found out I was pregnant if you want to watch that video please just leave a note down below in the comments and I will definitely make one of those videos for you guys so week three from when I found out that I'd fallen pregnant like once I took the test until once I hit week four it was about three days three days and I wrote down all the notes from those three days that I was feeling so I was feeling super tired, which is like a given. Um, your body's going through a big change and lots of hormones. Your progesterone is rising. So I was, oh my gosh, I was so exhausted. I just slept and slept and slept and slept and slept a lot. <laughs> and lucky that like I was working at that time in a different job, uh, casual working. So, you know, I had flexibility and, uh, and I was able to sleep a lot during the day. I was also feeling pretty irritated. Um, just like grumpy, hormonal, obviously. The next thing I started feeling, and I wrote down that it was very dry, like my skin was dry. My discharge, there was no discharge, just dry. I wasn't feeling hungry at all. Like I would make a meal and I would eat half of it or not even want to eat it at all. I just was turned off by food. I don't know, I just, I did not get any vomiting, like at all throughout the whole first trimester, thank God. And I didn't get any like nausea really. I mean like sometimes like something would smell and I'll go, oh, like, bleh. like, you know, gross. And I would sometimes feel like I wanted to throw up, but it wasn't like, I am so blessed and I'm so thankful. Like, thank you, Jesus, that I did not get any nausea or vomiting because so many women and possibly even you struggling with that. And I just like, Kudos to you and well done for making it through if you have made it through that period of time because that is so difficult, you know, like having to throw up all the time or even just the feeling sensation of wanting to throw up. My heart goes out to you girls. One other thing that I just will say is that absolutely every single pregnancy is different and no matter how you are feeling in your pregnancy, it is for a reason and every single body is different and unique and we all go through our own experience and your experience is valid. If you're feeling, you know, terrible about your pregnancy, you're feeling really down and you're feeling like it's really difficult, you know, I'm here for your sister. Like that is a very valid and normal feeling to have. And if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you're feeling absolutely enthusiastic and happy and feeling so good in your pregnancy then good for you you know like no matter how you're feeling it's your pregnancy and just embrace it embrace each and every little feeling that you're having and each symptom each craving each little thing because it's an amazing experience to be able to be pregnant as a woman and we are <laughs> mighty we are so strong to be able to go through it honestly another thing that i remember happened was when i was like very very early on my sense of smell was very strong this is just a funny story but i remember being in the shopping center in brisbane city in the myers upstairs 
and I could smell the KFC <laughs> that was two levels down outside of the store like down in the food court and if you're not from Brisbane you don't know that's pretty far away <laughs> I could smell KFC and like there definitely is a KFC store downstairs there but I could just smell it and I was in the Maya shopping center and I could smell it so strong as if it was like right next to me which I just thought was so weird I was like what on earth like <laughs> The next thing that I had was a tiny little bit of acne. Two pimples popped up on the day that I did my test. So just a little bit of acne. If you know you're trying to figure out if you're pregnant, you know, that's something, you know, that you can look at. It's very similar symptoms to um, PMS symptoms, you know, like when, just before you take your test and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what I was experiencing. And then week four came around and I had sore breasts. They weren't too bad at that point. They got worse <laughs> as time went on. I had a little bit of cramping. I was waking up so super early to go to the toilet a lot and pee, which is so unlike me. Like I never wake up that early in the morning, like 5 a.m., 4.30, 5.40, like just crazy hours of the morning just to go to the toilet and I try come back and I'm the type of person that once I wake up, it's kind of hard for me to get back to sleep. So I was just like pissed off for the rest of the day. I would go to sleep, but it was kind of like a light sleep, you know, like not, not the best. So that was quite irritating. I was su super, super dry. Like my skin was dry. I was feeling so thirsty, like all the time. I was drinking like two liters of water every day, which is good. Make sure to drink your water because you really need to. I know at one point I didn't drink water, enough water for like one day or two days and you'll get constipated. <laughs> I'm telling you now, <laughs> you will get constipated because your baby needs all that nutrition and the water is um, helping your food process, you know, like when it's a long story, but anyway, look into it, why you get pregnant, why you get uh, constipation during pregnancy. And it's to do with all the nutrients is getting basically sucked to the placenta to go to the baby and you're left with not much. So you need all the water to help pass all of that. Make sure to drink your water. <laughs> It's not fun. <laughs> the other thing I had like a little bit of a headache here and there. I was still a bit irritated and I had my, my first blood test. That's because I went to the doctors and I had my first blood test and I nearly fainted. Oh my God. I remember sitting there. She was like taking my blood and my whole head was just like going black. Like my vision, I couldn't see. And I was just like feeling like, oh my God. And I just said to the lady, like, I'm going to faint. Like, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And she's luckily just finished she like put the thing on my arm to to um, band-aid it basically um and she was like are you okay okay like drink some water drink some water because obviously you have a mask on when you're going to the doctors still um here in australia and she was like, taking your mask off you know just breathe 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 and i was like breathing and breathing <laughs> and i didn't faint but i i felt so strong like i was gonna faint for like a good 20 minutes and I just like sat in that room like waiting for that feeling to pass because it lasted for ages oh my god and I was just trying to drink water I had breakfast and everything so I don't know why I felt so faint it was just like I guess yeah just the, <laughs> the little prick of the needle just made me feel a bit I don't know like the pain <laughs> which I've never been like that really like I'm pretty okay with pain um, when it comes to like, you know, blood tests and stuff like that, it doesn't really bother me usually, but that time it was just like, whoa. The other thing I felt early on was your orgasms might be a bit stronger, a little bit TMI, but yeah, definitely, um, that happens. <laughs> Week five my breasts got more sore. They were so, so sore. Like, oh my gosh, I couldn't like lay in bed. Cause like, you know, when you're like, if you lay like this on the side and you're like squishing, squishing them. Oh my God. <laughs> I just remember the pain was horrible. Like really, really horrible. I did not like that. I was still very tired. I had a bit of a sore back. Um, but I started to eat a little bit better in week five because, you know, I was turned off by food before that. Oh, my hair started falling out and it is still falling out. So, uh, most women usually get that in postpartum, but I am 
just so lucky that I'm getting it in pregnancy as well. Yeah, just like when I'll be like in the shower, I just notice like a lot of hair strands coming out. I don't have like any bald patches, I don't think, but it's just like hair is falling out. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Lucky that I have a lot of hair. <laughs> that, you know, it's not too much of a bother yet, but yeah, uh, just I have certain things that I do to try and reduce the amount that it falls out. Like I'm washing it less, brushing it less. Like the next thing that I felt in week five was <laughs> I wrote on the 28th of April, 11:30 p.m. First time feeling nauseous? Question mark or hungry? I don't know. <laughs> but lots of rumbling tummy and feeling sick. So I was just feeling a bit meh, but I didn't really have nausea, like per se, like strong nausea. But I just felt a little bit like eh, queasy, you know? It wasn't too bad though, to be honest, compared to lots of other women. So I had it pretty good. Week six came around, still same symptoms were carried on, like tired, peeing a lot, thirsty, all of that kept going on, tender boobs. I wrote, my boobs are hurting more, which I didn't think was possible. <laughs> so they just got worse and worse and worse. Um, my cravings, I wrote down my cravings, was like Vegemite with avocado on toast. <laughs> if you're not from Australia, <laughs> you're going to be like, ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> but it's delicious. Like, oh my God. It's so good. Like, try it. You're going to try it. Oh yeah. And with balsamic vinegar on top. Oh, delicious. <laughs> I could still eat that now. Um, oh yeah, and then another time I had protein powder, which is like a cinnamon flavor that I had, and with hot chocolate. <laughs> so I had like a protein powder hot chocolate. I don't know, just weird things that I, that I felt like eating and drinking. I was still waking to pee, um, but this time in week six, it was in the middle of the night not the early morning so it kind of just like changed a little bit the time and then week six is when I had a dream about having a baby girl and I after that I was like oh my god it's a girl <laughs> obviously at that time we didn't know but now we know we're having a boy so yeah that was wrong <laughs> but later on I had a dream about a boy but I don't think I wrote it in here but a few weeks later I had a dream about a boy and yeah we're having but the boy was like a kid and it was like a full on scene in my head, <laughs> in my dream. But the girl was just like when I'd given birth and I was looking at her and you so little, beautiful, dark haired um, baby, but with like blue eyes. Cause my partner's got really dark hair. Uh, it was just such a cute baby. But anyway, it was just a dream. <laughs> Week seven. Oh yeah, I had some acne breakouts on my chin and I was kind of dry, my skin. I started getting a little bit of like discharge coming out because before that I was very dry. So discharge in my underwear. And then I wrote tired in capitals, tired, OMG, help. <laughs> exhausted, I was just exhausted. I'm still exhausted on this sleep pregnancy. Takes it out of you. <laughs> I started getting a stuffy nose. Oh my God, and I still have <laughs> stuffy nose doesn't go away it doesn't go away like you just you have a stuffy nose and it just you gotta live with it <laughs> I wrote sometimes I'm feeling a little sick but mostly just like uncomfortable yeah it wasn't really um, sick it was more just uncomfortable and yeah to be honest looking back I really didn't have that much nausea I think I was trying to tell myself <laughs> that I was having nausea because I wanted to be like in the club you know <laughs> the nausea club like oh my god I'm pregnant <laughs> but it didn't happen it never happened which I'm thankful for now at the time I was like you know just wanted to like feel pregnant you know like and I just wasn't really feeling pregnant per se because I didn't have any nausea and that's like the main thing that everyone talks about during pregnancy but there's so many other things that you will feel you know? Okay, and then I wrote, um, I was burping a lot due to the progesterone. So I would, every time after I would eat, I would get like burping, you know, like just this feeling of like, um, I don't know, like reflux or like heartburn. But yeah, it was just a lot of like burping. I don't know. It was like, that was like my gas. <laughs> but no one talks about that, but that's what I had. <laughs> 
I don't know if anyone else has that, but I definitely did. Uh, and then I wrote a little bit about how I was feeling. And this was like the first wave of emotions that I started feeling. Um, so I wrote that I'm kind of feeling depressed, sad because I can't be more helpful around the house and I'm not, and what, what did I write? Helpful around the house and I'm not myself and it sucks. Wish I wasn't so tired so that I could clean more and be a better girlfriend to my partner, Christian. So I was like feeling pretty like, I don't know, just sad that I, that he was like doing so much. He is kudos to him. He is the best man out there. Honestly, he was cleaning, cooking, doing everything. And he still is like that. But I just had like no energy. I was just, just I was just sleeping like all day, every day, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And I didn't have the energy to get up and clean and cook and like take care of myself the way I should have, you know? And honestly, like I was just feeling like a bit depressed, I guess, you know? And then I wrote, I'm kind of scared about how I'm going to be as a mother. What if I don't clean enough or do enough around the house when the baby does get here? And if I'm tired now, I can't even imagine when I won't be sleeping, how I will be like. So I just started like overthinking and, and just feeling like, oh my God, like I'm tired now in pregnancy. But imagine like once the baby gets here and you're literally not sleeping at night. So if I can't handle it now, like I'm not going to be able to handle it later. Basically, I just started getting like scared and just like in my head, you know, and obviously like when the time comes, like, you know, you do what you got to do and I've kind of worked myself through that, but it's just like one of the emotions that I was feeling and and how I was processing being pregnant, you know, it's, it's a scary thing when there's so much is uncertain, so much changes in your life and that's okay. Like it's okay to feel like that, you know, but um, you let it come, let the feelings sit there, ponder it, let it pass and move on, you know, like you can't keep feeling like that. You can't hold on to those feelings because um, it will you know get in your head and it will destroy destroy your day you know but i also wrote for week this is a lot in the beginning <laughs> what else wrote in week seven was i haven't cooked meals in weeks because if i cook i don't want to eat it and it's super weird which was true like if my partner chris cooked me a meal i'd feel a bit better about eating it but if i cooked it like cutting raw meat was just like <laughs> gross like like put a taste in my mouth, like when I would cut raw meat, cook it and then eat it. But if someone else had cooked it and I didn't really see the raw meat being cooked, I was okay like to eat it, you know? It's weird, so weird. But anyway, week eight came around and I said, <laughs> some of the stuff I wrote is so funny. I swear I feel baby moving, kind of feels like gas bubbles popping in my belly or like popcorn. This is like week eight. I was telling myself that I was feeling it, but honestly, who knows? I think I was just like putting it on. <laughs> or is it like popcorn? But I feel like it's baby moving, mostly noticeable late at night and when I'm laying down on my side. And then I wrote, I'm constipated. I didn't drink enough water for sure. And then I wrote, my poop is getting really dark as well because of like the, all the nutrients was being sucked to the baby that like there was nothing left once I was going to the toilet. It was very dark. And it was also possibly the, pre the prenatal vitamins that I was taking. And then I wrote question mark, question mark, kind of getting my energy back, but not really. <laughs> I just had like a little burst of energy in week eight, which was good. Week nine my boobs were hurting a lot less like they started reducing in pain because every week they were just so bad and then i wrote i feel like i have a bit of energy back and i changed um my prenatal vitamins to elevate prior to that i was taking like black moors or something and like if you compare how much is in each of them the elevate has like you know a lot higher levels of iron higher levels of like everything um folic acid so i changed to um taking Elevate and I started feeling a lot better after I like instantly I, I took those was feeling better more energy so I was like must be that <laughs> I wrote feeling fat now <laughs> with a sad face <laughs> yeah well like that's pretty much yeah <laughs> what you feel like I was feeling I remember like putting on clothes and being like I just look bloated like I don't actually look like pregnant and but I want 
I, I, it's hard because like you want the people around you to know like, hey, I'm pregnant, like I'm not fat. <laughs> please don't judge me even though like people don't care obviously but like you're thinking about it and it was just like something that I had to go through putting on clothes was always difficult it's still difficult you know like trying to find something to wear I honestly just wear the baggiest stuff ever because it's safe it fits it's comfortable <laughs> And I wear the same thing all the time and that's okay like whatever I'm not gonna go buy a bunch of clothes just for pregnancy because it's such a waste Th Those were all the symptoms that I wrote. I only got up to week 9 actually even though like obviously goes all the way to week 14 I stopped writing so <laughs> I don't really remember what I felt because I just stopped writing anything um, from there until about week 15 so sorry that I didn't have more all the way up until the end of my first trimester, but you get the gist. It's pretty much was just like the same symptoms each week. Tired, sore breasts, different emotions were coming on, thirsty, very, very thirsty. So that's how my first trimester went. Now I did want to talk a little bit about um, my favorite pregnancy apps that I've been using. First I started with Flow, but when I like, that's how I track my period normally. But when I put into there, um, like, you know, that I was pregnant, it like completely changes it, obviously. And you can no longer see anything. Like you have to pay for the subscription to see any of the little things down the bottom. Like any of these things here, you gotta pay for them. Like you can't, you open it and it just wants you to pay. So I was like, no. <laughs> I was pissed off about that. I was like, I'm not doing that. So I just checked around to see what other apps there were. And um, someone recommended me this Pregnancy Plus. This one is my absolute favorite just because of how like beautiful the baby looks in the app. So in the first trimester, baby doesn't look as much like a baby. You know what I mean? It looks a little bit different, but the app, it shows you if you can kind of see that's what it looks like and it gives you down the bottom um the week on that side and then on that side it tells you like how many grams and the measurement of how long the baby should be but yes that is what it looks like at 13 weeks and yeah i loved using this app because the free version has so much already it tells you everything each week it gives you like a little like breakdown of the symptoms like you could expect and how you could be feeling and this and that and there's like all these little like articles you can read and it's all um written by with backed up evidence of doctors and research and things like that so it's really helpful and that's how i found a lot of my information um about like you know what sort of hormones were happening each week and kind of understanding what your body is going through so if you know you are looking for a good pregnancy app that one is really good i really recommend that one a lot of people use the baby center i also have that one that i downloaded but i just don't like the way the baby looks as much like i really just love how the way the baby looks on the pregnancy plus because it's so like interactive and it moves you can tap it and it will like jiggle the baby and it will like kick and stuff like that so I like that one a little better, but this one's still good. Uh, it does pretty similar things. It goes through like, you know, your highlights, how many days pregnant um, you have left of pregnancy. It's like 97 days left, 100 days left, whatever, things like that. Um, but yeah, those are the three sort of apps I've been using. But the one I've been using the most is the Pregnancy Plus. And I've also, my friend got me onto this peanut app. It is an app, um, where you can meet other pregnant or mothers in your area like so close to where you live it's kind of like tinder for mums <laughs> it's pretty cool so um you put in like how many weeks pregnant you are you can like write about yourself and it's kind of like tinder where you like swipe and you can like match with people that you look like you would like them or maybe they're similar to you in how far along pregnant you are and you can meet up with them and it's a really great way to connect with people so that app is called peanut i like that one too um you can just if you're ever having like concerns you can chat with another woman if you feel like you don't have anyone that is a really great way to you know meet other like-minded women or if you want like someone who's 
um, no longer pregnant but they've got kids maybe like as advice like you could get from them the women on here are very very lovely very nice and yeah who wouldn't want to meet other like-minded women and have a bit of a community around yourself so i hope you like this video if you're also pregnant please remember to put a comment down below and let me know how far along you are and how you've been feeling what symptoms maybe have been standing out the most to you i will make sure to read them and respond if you do want to see my video that i made about when i found out i was pregnant i will leave that up here for you to check out thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new and you enjoy videos like this make sure to subscribe as i have plenty more videos coming your way all about pregnancy and i'm so excited and i cannot wait thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day evening whatever it is <laughs> ciao <laughs>